Hello, everybody. My name is Clay. Hi, neighbor Sue here. And today we are checking out Heilung. Uh, this is Othin live at Castle Fest from 2017, I believe. Was this uh, suggested to us? It was, right? It was by Julia Fernandez. Oh, nice. Well, and thank you, Julia. Yeah, Appreciate that. she was thoughtful enough to give us a little explanation that it's three chunks of ancient combat projection spells. So I'm thinking I'm going to try to follow along, and if I can catch something from her notes as to what how to understand it, if I catch it, I'll share it. I'll stop you. But I don't know because <laughs> I haven't listened to it, and you know we're going to hear some wolfish kind of stuff towards the end. Apparently, they thought of themselves as like a wolf pack when they went to combat. Well. Yeah. I think that's kind of cool. Well, yeah. I don't know what the fuck is going on with this band, but I think they're cool as fuck so far. So, <laughs> I don't know. I'm here for it. You ready? Yeah. And away we go. Okay. I'm so excited to watch one of their videos again. I think of like the rune symbolism. The brachiates, whatever she called them. Etchings. Oh, here they come. Is that throat singing? This is definitely something we need to go see. <laughs> Please. Right? Yeah. <laughs> ah, that gong just kind of separates you, separates the living from the dead, right? <laughs> Directors having fun with this. It's like a whole production. Yeah. What's the first part of this, you said? Wow. I think this is a cumulation of combat protection spells, and she might be the White High Mistress. Definitely. That might be. Look at her. The women would sing spells under the shields to bless and protect the warriors. That's what she's doing right now. Look at her.
make me want to go to war. I feel united. I'm not a fighter, but they're all getting up. They're ready. They're protected. She's singing under their shields. Supposed to be able to stop an arrow. She's singing under their shields. This is incredibly revving. So I'm gonna go stomping in the room, and I have nothing to say. Dead can, uh, Dead can Dance. I don't know if you ever heard of them. Reminds me of them a little bit. But this is their own thing. This is way more tribal. Yeah, just the pitches that she hits. All right, now it says it's gonna get a little dark and somber. And I'm guessing this is the third part. There's an active combat spell. And his name, Odin, is repeated in a wolfish barking mantra. Either Othin or Odin. I don't know what we're listening for. Probably Othin. Yeah. That's the name of the song, right? Right, but it comes from the writings of Odin, so I don't know if they mean uh, the same thing. You know what I mean? I'm not sure. This is really cool music, man. It's intense. There's a swirling going on that's really cool. making that sound. This guy scared me in the last one. army. I'm fucking ready. I want to tear somebody's head off. Raging across the freaking land. You know, whether this magic was real or not.
We just raged over the hills. Man. Under the protection oh, of we Odin. We marched over the hills. Raged. That was really cool, man. That might be my favorite thing I've heard from them so far. I think my stomach is turning. That was really like, oh, oh, that was really like, oh, we're going to fucking war, man. Shields up, march. I love march. the whole bit. I love that you had the background, too, that we knew that. Well, that was super helpful. Julia did that. Yeah, that, that we knew that like the singing under the shields was protection and all that, like they were going to war. That was cool, man. Well, I knew that the visuals are what gets me through this, but that little bit of understanding of what the visuals were. Yeah. I still have, we have no idea what that was just, except the whole arrow thing. That's kind of neat. Dude, that was really cool, man. That was really a fun Imagine one. Imagine what that sounded like, though, just being like right there. Fuck no. We got to go see that. I, like, I mean, I would love to, but I couldn't up. imagine it. I bet it's like literally like, Ooh. Yeah, I understand why people call it a ritual. You know, when you're going to these things, it's not a show, it's a ritual. No. I fucking get it, man. I'm in. We got to see this band when they come around New I York. I imagine that gives you the willies. That one guy's voice is scary to me. Like, I can't get any more guttural. <clears throat> yeah. You think if these guys played like a backyard barbecue, they'd still dress up like that? Why not? I know she might be upset. She Just be weird. Like, if they her. start off, like, how's a band like this start off? Like, VFW clubs? And you try out like for, you for play the drums, like the bar and like around the corner. Not really sure. Murphy's Tavern. Like where the fuck do you start with a band like Although this? Although where this culture is from, maybe this is this is this type of stuff is played so often and you know it's more. Yeah. You know, pronounced where this. Yeah, I mean, all, more power to them because they pulled this off. But do you get what I'm saying? Like, how do you start off with a band like this? Um, a big, a big love of. You got to start. You got to start off culture. playing small gigs, right? I think you go right so, for the lo the small theater. This is a production. I guess you got to pitch it that way. It doesn't. Feel it would be like interesting to find out how they started like this. You know. Is it is it advertised as a concert? I don't know. Ritual wouldn't to me doesn't. I don't know. I don't know how you start this off. Like if you come out with the antlers and everything and the whole, but you have to because that's what the the show is. It's like know, it's it part of that, but it, yeah, it creates the entire illusion and image yeah. of that. Past. Wow, cool shit, man. We got to look into the origins of this band, figure it out. Pretty cool.